You know, it's one of those questions that I've always known of. Uh, my mother helped me to do that. She used to have me make pot holders and flowers out of toilet paper. And she would sell and painted plates, old chipped white plates. So I did that when I was about eight years old. And I would do hundreds and hundreds of pot holders and paper flowers and painted plates. And so I didn't know anything else, and I have never known anything other than doing art my whole life. I didn't make a decision, it's just I've always been. This is um, a pen and ink illustration I did um, for the Tribune Chronicle in Warren, Ohio, and that's the actual printed piece there. But that's all stipple work with pen and ink by hand. Then I was the artist for the first Super Bowl. And so I did the look of the paper for the Super Bowl. Let me show you the first. Um, oh. This was probably the most popular front page ever. Whoa. People. I mean, I redesigned the whole paper, the sports, not the whole paper, but the sports section and the A section for the Super Bowl. Yeah, this is my logo, and nice. that's my the work there. But what happened is they only published this in stores, like Circle K had these, but they weren't sent to home delivery. Really? People were pissed off. I wonder why that is. I don't know why they did that, but it was the worst decision they made because the phones jumped off the hook. People were like, I want that paper. It was kind of a compliment, but it yeah. was really something, you know. I'm working on a, another instrument. Ooh, a guitar. Yeah, this thing. Seen one so, of those in a while. That's it's so cool. Let me just plug that in. For the Tim P um, show, they want me to do a performance uh, outside uh, during the exhibit. And so I'm working on an instrument to play outside it, and this is what I came up with. century uh, chair for that uh, Evo piece. I don't normally title my pieces, but this one is simply titled uh, Sonic Sculpture 2020. And that's normally how I name things, not just because we just had a rough 2020, but uh, I, I name my sculptures by year. Well, it came together by um, Michelle asking me to be in the show, so it was built specifically for the Explore show. And um, I just started trying to think in terms of what we're going through right now with the COVID pandemic and how I could create an instrument that people could still play safely and enjoy uh, during this time. And so this one is made to be pet played with these little cardboard straws. <laughs>
And possibly you could have two people playing it at the same time, but I envision one person playing it and people taking turns to discover. But if people were masked, they could probably play. But this was done specifically thinking about the COVID uh, distancing and how I could still make something that was sculptural and enjoyable to play and that people could use for discovery to dis just go around the instrument and discover various sounds. It's not a traditional uh, instrument that is um, tuned to any specific uh, key. Um, you have to find a place on it that you like or whatever to find the sound. And there's a myriad of sounds that can happen with it, uh, but you have to discover the sounds. And that's the, to me, the interesting part is that you can discover sounds that you like. These are all from my studio. I mean, I, I keep supplies there. This is just a, a soft steel wire that's been welded together. Um, black wire and rubber bands and then here we have a big brass disc that i found at a junkyard and what's stabilizing the whole thing is underneath there's a giant magnet that keeps it in place so that it doesn't swing everywhere so there's literally a super heavy industrial magnet that is the foundation to keep it from moving and swaying back and forth.